you're cleaning already. Yes, dear. Is it six in the morning? I got up at six and fed Bootsy because she is my alarm clock. And I did, hey, Rekas. I did, um, there's some dishes in the sink from Megan and Raquel. So I did those and I washed your coffee cup out, made you coffee, scooped the kitty litter boxes, started a load of laundry, and I think that's about it. I have to clean our this little hallway, our bedroom, and our bathroom today before I have to go to the doctor's. Why? Because I didn't do it yesterday. Well, that's a good reason. And the rest of the house is clean, so this part needs to be clean too. Okay. Doesn't it make sense? Half to you, yes. It doesn't make sense to you? <laughs> Looks clean to me. Well, I, I haven't dusted up there yet, so don't look up there. <laughs> All right, baby. Because that's dirty up there. Yes, dear. So, hey, everybody, I'm back. Yes, Kevin caught me cleaning this morning, but I did finish everything downstairs, including my bedroom and my bathroom now, so I feel pretty good about that. Still working on laundry. Got one or two loads left, but that'll get done today. I'm going to make myself something to eat, sit down, watch a little bit of TV. I don't have to leave for my doctor's appointment till 2.30, so kind of tired, so I may go back to sleep, doze on and off, take a little bit of a nap for a little bit, but we'll see. I got to show you guys something, though. We used to have a little basket in the middle of our bed that held all the TV remotes and Kevin's snack foods which he loves Rolos and red vines and now he started on these sour candies and he was complaining because I took the basket away and was leaving all the remotes on his nightstand and he said they keep getting in the way they keep falling so I put the basket back but I want to show you guys because I think it's really really cute <laughs> but this is our basket that we keep in the middle of the bed it's just a little basket and it has all the remotes for the all the t the different electronics that we have and then he, he has his sour bite crawlers that he likes his rollos and his red vines so he was complaining that all the remotes were in his way so I'm putting the basket back that he said he didn't didn't need the basket anymore but now he says he does so our bed is big enough for it to be in the middle so there's his basket so everybody Tiff came by to pick me up to take me to my doctor's appointment and she came by early because she had a dentist appointment so we decided to come to Betty Faye's for lunch and it's gonna be kind of funny watching her eat with her numb face. <laughs> so it'll be pretty interesting. We'll see how it goes. And then we're off to my doctor. Let's, I didn't wear my braces right now, but I have them in my purse. So. Hi, Megan. Mmm, mmm, toast, toast, num num, toast good, toast good for you. What are you doing today? Going swimming. Yay. Sounds like fun. Woo. It's supposed to be very hot today. Very hot. It'll be fun. Very, very hot. Kevin sent me an email of an inn up in Lake Arrowhead that's for sale. That's haunted. <laughs> I thought we were buying an inn in Lake like Arrowhead. <laughs> I ordered a mushroom Swiss burger with onion rings and it is delicious. Oh my god, it's so good. What did you get, Tiff? I got the BLT with french fries. And how's your mouth? Difficult to eat. 
Very now drooling. Thank goodness. I'll let you know if you start drooling. Thank you. <laughs> so here I am at the doctor's physical medicine for a nerve test on my right hand, which is being wrapped in heat. And Tiff and I were just discussing why would they wrap it in heat. So we're going to ask. My theory is that heat increases sensitivity in the nerves. And so in order to test, they probably want to increase the sensitivity of the nerves to make sure that they're responding. Because we're assuming they're going to use electrodes. I am assuming that machine. We'll find out. Soon enough. Here's Kevin with his boys. Simba and Boomer. Simba and Boomer just got a little angry at each other at, on the table a little while ago. Yeah, they don't like each other. Actually, they were okay with each other earlier. I saw them both together. They were nose to nose and they kind of just went around each other and no problem. I think it's because you were there and yeah. they both want your attention. This one's hard to give attention to. Yes. He wants to be just out of my reach. And then we have Freckles, who's our third boy. So there's my other boy. There, there's Kevin and his boys, my three sons. <laughs> so I went to the doctor's today for my hand, and Tiffany was with me. Yes. And before the doctor comes in and does the test, they wrap my hand in heat. And... Tiffany and I were kind of trying to figure out why they would wrap my hand in heat. So when the doctor came in, we asked why. And apparently it's to loosen it up and make it so that the nerves have more feeling. Where when you ice it, it dulls the pain. Right? Uh-huh. So... Tiffany guessed it right. That's why they did it. So anyway, they did. She did the tests, and as of right now, because I've been wearing my brace and I've been icing my hand, I have. I do have carpal tunnel. It's not severe enough to where I'm going to have to have surgery at all. And she gave me some. Um, exercises that I'm, I need to do, wear my brace as much as I can and ice it as much as I can and I should be fine. And because I've been babying this hand, this one's hurting, so I do have a brace for my left hand and she said the same thing. So this one doesn't get worse, wear the brace, do the exercises and ice as much as possible. I told her about my OCD and that I have to take my braces off 30, 40 times a day to wash my hands. And, you know, but I got to do what I got to do because I don't want to have to have surgery. So it was a pretty good appointment. Good. And then Tiffany had to go to Staples because she needed to make some copies. And I'm a big Pier 1 person. I love going into Pier 1. They have lanterns galore there and I love 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 lanterns I have one on the bar over there and I gotta fight with her not to buy them yeah love them but anyway I didn't buy any lanterns today but I did buy this it's a shopping list and it says all out of and it has every category and you check what you're out of and then 
you can take this to the store as your shopping list. What does it say for snacks? It says pretzels, cookies, chips, dips, whips, crackers, candy, nuts, uh, popcorn, raisins, snack bars. And then it has some one, two, three, four, five lines for other. Oh, good. Okay, and then it also says, oh, yeah, and it has this whole section. Groovy, man. So, but, but, this is what I'm really, really excited about. Do your chores. Okay. And it has clean bathroom, who? Of course, the who is me. And done. Check. So, I'm going to say clean bathroom, and then instead of who, I'm going to put numbers. So it's the order that I have to do it. And don't forget, down here, it says, and don't forget. To yell at Kevin. Reward for completion. Yeah, I get a reward for completion. Yeah. What should my, re what should my rewards be? Uh, um, um. Go do the shopping. <laughs> oh, that's not on here. <laughs> that's because it's your reward. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Got your glasses on. Can you see? All right. Hey, everybody. Guess what time it is. Uh, shout out. It's time for a shout out! <laughs> I could talk, I could be myself tonight. And I'm feeling good. Tired, but good. So, hey, we gave a shout out to Rex25059 the other day. That's Katie Caroline's brother. He's got a gaming channel. And we gave him a shout out, and he only had one subscriber from our shout out. So come on, guys, we gotta get all our gaming people together to subscribe to each other's channels and make a whole gaming community. All right, we can do better than that. Yeah, come on, Zachary Ballard, the Hobo Legion. Go over and check out Rex25059 and Rex, go check out the Hobo Legion. It's the underscore hobo underscore legion. Come on, there's a lot of gamers on our channel. I know that. So subscribe to each other, guys. Help each other out. Come on. Yeah. 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 You, you, you need to say this one. All right. I don't know if I'm going to pronounce it right, but it looks like it should be Nuts Hat, or News Hat, N-U-Z-H-A-T-C. Happy belated birthday. It was on July 9th. I hope you had an awesome time. We hope you had an awesome time. We hope you had an awesome time. Leaves me out. And you need to do this one, too, because I don't know how to say his name. I know he's from Japan. I'm pretty sure he's from Japan. Thank you, Karuth. He thinks that Kevin and I are perfect for each other. Is that right? Thank you, Caruth. He thinks that Valerie and I are perfect for each other. Aww. Aww. PDA, baby. P -O. Ah. Samantha L. You're making this difficult for us, Samantha. She thinks last night's shout-outs were the best <laughs> ever. We're going to have to really come up with something to top last night's shout-outs. <laughs> What did we do last night? I don't know. Alright. 
We're going to have to try and figure out what we did last night and why that was so good and what we can do to make it better. And then, Kevin, you're going to have to do this one too. Nikki Popolovich. Is that Pop Oh, Popolovich. Uh, Popolovich or Popolovich. Uh, we wanted to give you a better shout out than uh, than last night because uh, I gave you that shout out and I gave it to you as Val. And you said that you love us. I well. did it with a New York accent and it just wasn't right. Go ahead. Go ahead. And you said that you love us guys and we just wanted to let you know that we love you too. And we are very happy that you are following us. So thank you, Nikki. Popolovich or Popolovich? What he said. And then I have a shout out. Tanya Longley says that Boomer keeps biting Kevin's nose because he loves him. Ow. <laughs> I love him too, so I just bit his nose. <laughs> Ow. Is there marks? <laughs> you know more about it later. Yeah. I don't but, want her to tell you too much. But it's going to be better than the, the first two that we've done. No, I, I'll start it tonight. Because you started it last night. No, you started no, it you last started night. It last you started night. it. You started it. Do I have to bite night. you again? <laughs> you started it. <laughs> All right. Jack okay. Adams. Oh, wait. Neighborhood community shout out. Jack Adams. Katie Caroline. Megan Goss. Karen Fry. McKenna's World. Lucy Bounds. <laughs> Lucy Miss Phineas J. Bones. Madison Collier. Daniel Scott. Christopher Trade Show. Play Bad with Username. Selena G. Love 487, also known as Brian. Tom Show. Madeline Carl. And Rex 25059. You are all part of our neighborhood community, and we would not be here without every single one of you. We love you all. Thank you. Thumbs up, and we will see you tomorrow.